In my last video, I showed you how to plant a giant pumpkin seed, and we did some experiments. Some of the seeds went in a warm germination chamber, others were overwatered, some were placed in my cold bathroom, and others were placed by the window. So now we're going to see the results of our experiment. Here we have some seedlings that have emerged, and if we start over on the right, that's my 1281 from 2022, and that one emerged just two days after I planted the seed, which is pretty good. Uh, in the middle is my 1378, also from 2022, and that emerged a day later. And then we have the 920 from 2016, which emerged today, which was the day after the middle one. Uh, typically, the older the seed is, the longer it takes to emerge. So I was actually impressed that the 920 emerged so quick. Now, you may not see a seedling in the one all the way on the left, but you can see that the soil is tented up a little bit. And if you brush off that soil, you can actually see a little seedling there, or seed. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, right now, I have them sitting by the window. I do not recommend keeping them just by the window because it's not enough light. And what's going to happen is your seedlings are going to become very leggy, which means their stalk is going to get very long because they're just going to try and grow, grow, grow towards that sun. And it's just not enough sunlight for them. So ideally you would plant your seedlings when it's still warm enough outside that you can stick them outside in the full sun and then they'll be happy. I start them a little earlier, so I put them under fluorescent lights, but I'm gonna show you what happens when you put a seedling by the window versus under the fluorescent lights, just to show you the difference it makes. Now the soil here in the 920 pot is getting a little dry. It's just lighter in color and you can just feel it. It's getting dry. So what I do is I just take a water bottle and I always fill it with warm, or almost hot water from the tap um, because we don't want to shock the plants with cold water. So I always use warm water even when I'm planting the seeds in the very beginning. And I just try and add a little bit. I don't, I don't go crazy. Um, and just keep an eye on them. The smaller the pots are, the more you have to water them. This is my 1363 from this past growing season in 2023. And you can see the seedling has emerged, but he's kind of stuck in that seed capsule. And a lot of times they will work their way out, but I like to kind of gently help them out and just take that seed capsule off for them. You have to be very careful when you do it because you don't want to destroy the plant, but basically you just kind of open it a little bit and just gently pull it off and then your seedling is nice and happy. Here we have two more of my 1363 seeds. The one that you just saw in the last frame was another one, but it was in the warm germination chamber that was about 80 degrees. And here it is 60.1 degrees. So it's a decent amount cooler, and that is enough to prevent them from germinating as quickly. So neither of these have germinated. But one thing that's interesting is that the method that I'm using here with the saran wrap, it actually works a lot better than the germination chamber at keeping that soil nice and uh, moist. This is the one that I overwatered, so that's definitely moist enough, but this is the same soil that I used as all the other ones, and I haven't had to water it yet. All the others I have had to water, so this simple method actually works pretty well. You can see here the seedlings that I have by the window and after two days they've already gotten quite leggy and that's not good. Just imagine them going out in the wind, they would snap super easy. So this is not what we want. The other thing I wanted to show you is uh, why small pots aren't always the best idea. Um, and if you see underneath, we have roots already popping out. They popped out two days ago, and they're not really going anywhere else because they have nowhere else to go. So that's no good. We want those roots to be nice and spread out and not be root bound. So that's another reason you don't want to use a small pot. It has been 13 days since I planted the 1363 witty uh, in the bathroom. The bathroom has been averaging between 55 and 60 degrees, so it's been a lot colder. And we finally have some movement in the soil, so it looks like this was successful. This is the seedling that is in the normal soil as opposed to the overwatered soil, and it made it. Um, so I'm just gonna open this up 
and we're gonna look at it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda move this soil out of the way. And if you look closely, you can see that that seed is stuck on there. So I'm gonna remove that seed capsule and we're gonna see what we got. Bottom part is stuck in there. So that bottom part of the seed capsule, I'm assuming is stuck to the root, so I'm not even gonna mess with it. We're just gonna let it be. So once this guy sees some sunlight, he'll perk up a little bit. Um, so 13 days versus five days. So it took about eight more days for this seedling to emerge, which is kind of what I expected with it being in the colder weather. So that does make a big difference in the giant pumpkin world. So warmer is better. I also want to point out, I did not water this pot a single time in 13 days that saran wrap works amazing. Now here we have the 1363 that was also in the bathroom but was overwatered. I'm not feeling too optimistic about this so we're gonna dig down and see what's going on in there. Okay, I'm actually impressed. I went to pull, I, I found the seed capsule and I went to pull up on it and I got a little bit of resistance, which means the seed has sprouted. Um, that's pretty cool. So we'll give it a few more days and see what happens. Here we have the 1363 that was in the cold bathroom and I also overwatered it. You can see it is finally emerging uh, 15 days after I planted it. This is about two days after the other guy that was in this room that wasn't overwatered. Now, the reason I made this video was to show you that doing this would cause the seed to rot, and the seed didn't rot. And that there proves that nature doesn't follow rules, nature does what it wants, and nature is very resilient. And this seed apparently was a resilient one. So it did not rot, which don't let that encourage you to put your seed in a cold, dark room um, with a overly wet soil, but it also shows that the media that I used is designed for people like me who may overwater their plants. So the combination of a resilient seed plus soil that drained really well is a lot of the reason the seed flourished. Now, um, I would very much advise against using soil from your backyard because it will probably not drain as well as this soil will. So your seed can still rot if it's in soil that's too cold and too wet. Um, and as you can tell, it took a lot longer to sprout, which makes a huge difference. Now this guy is stuck under the soil as well, so I'm gonna gently kind of dig down a little and release him. He may eventually work its way out, but I don't wanna take a chance. So we got him free, and he'll eventually work his way up once he sees the light. So I wanted to do a quick summary of how all of our seedlings did. And starting from the left, that's the first seed that emerged. So that was the 1281, and that emerged three days after I planted it. Uh, next over to the right is the 1378, which emerged four days after I planted it. To the right of that, the 1363, in the warm germination chamber also germinated four days after planting the seed. To the right of that, in the little pot, we have the 920, which emerged five days after planting the seed. Uh, that was a little of a surprise to me because that seed was back from 2016, so it was quite an old seed, and I expected it to take a little bit longer to emerge, but five days, I'll take it. Next we have the two on the right, which are the two plants that were in the cold bathroom between 55 and 60 degrees. So we have this 1363, which had the normal moisture soil. That emerged 13 days after I planted the seed. And then all the way on the right is the one that was in the overwatered soil. I didn't even think it would make it, and it did. And that emerged 15 days after I planted the seed. So there's a huge difference between planting your seed in a warm environment versus a cold environment. 
Now if we go back to the two on the left, those were the two that I had by the window and you can see that their stalks are ridiculously long and that's just not gonna work. So putting them by the window isn't really the best option. I will go over that in more detail in my next video on how to keep your seedlings going once they emerge. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to point out is the big pot in the middle. Look how big and healthy that plant is. That emerged at the same time as the one to the left of it. And it's so much bigger. It's nice and short. Uh, the leaves are way bigger. It's just a happier plant overall. And even the one to the right of it, the one to the right of it is just a day older and it's just kind of stunted just because the pot is too small and it's already root bound. So the bigger the pot, the better, especially if you're not going to get it outside into the ground right away. So stay tuned for my next video. I will be talking about seedling care and getting them outside.